time of the year when most schools are holding their inter-school culturals. It's a time of great excitement and fun. No classes for two days. Actually, no classes for at least two weeks before the event because everybody is in a mood to just prepare and organize and get ready for this cultural extravaganza. We are here at Chetinat Vidyashram today. More than 80 schools are participating in the culturals here. And what you're going to see inside is just simply going to blow your mind. Here we go guys, please welcome the SS team group out here. Everybody together, give me a round of applause. Dr. Bhavani Shankar is the principal here at Chetinad Vidyashram and he's been here for four years now. Before that, he was a researcher in the U.S. So the year you joined, you were greeted with the staging of the culturals and it's a huge event in your school, but it happens only once in two years. See, it's, it's because uh, these are uh, big budget events and the other year we always go with the science exposition which is again uh, very popular among the other city schools but then it is an in-house event where all our school children participate. So this happens once in two years to entice greater participation as well. But that's really nice to contrast the science expo with this, you know, the right brain and the left brain as it were. How many schools participate uh, every year? On an average about uh, 60 to 70 schools are invited. This year I'm being told that for all the events put together about 73 schools are participating. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the events which are unique to your school? Uh, 
I understand uh, a few events that are very unique uh, to Chetinar Vidyashram. One is Counter Strike. This is a gaming event where the kids are asked to uh, I mean, sit with the computers and work. The other one is uh, the uh, uh, script writing. The other one is uh, more about a light camera Maitri, which is uh, uh, a video, three minute video clipping of uh, the spirit of Maitri that's, that's happening here. So uh, the other one would be uh, uh, a spoof of uh, the cinema. This is called the bioscope. So they are given uh, a lopsided title and then uh, they need to go on stage and enact some scenes from what they make out of the uh, title. That sounds really fun. There's another one called Twisted Translator, which I thought was really nice. Yeah. So now as the principal, uh, you've been in the U.S., you've seen the education system there, and, and of course now you're the principal here. What, what plans do you have for the school, and how important are events like this? See, events like these are very important for one single reason, is that uh, it gives all the children in the city a platform to interact. And uh, the co-curricular activities need to go side by side with the academics. And this is definitely important for the all-round development of the child, and especially at a time when they are taking off. So this gives them the platform to interact, make new friends, establish contacts, and then take it uh, together when they uh, grow out of themselves as good citizens. Well, the theme of uh, this year's culturals here is friendship, and that is very palpable. This atmosphere of camaraderie is something that you see everywhere. Arati from Chetinad Vidyashram and this is my best friend Namrita, she's also my partner in crime. Happy Friendships Day! Hi, I'm a teacher at Chetinad Vidyashram. I think friendship is all about understanding and forgiveness. There's a really wacko competition going on in this room. A Tamil soundtrack will be played and the contestants have to translate it and sing the same in English. I auto man, auto man for a route, only knowing good rate boy, only good singing do, only Gandhi place born boy, sticky taking archer boy, elder person helper boy da. I poor person relative boy da. I always poor person relative boy da. One evening during the dusk, in a beautiful autumn season, I saw her face a little bit far away, and I lost myself there. I saw her face a little bit far away, and I lost myself there. Country goods, it is very nice. Near come to dash and stand, it is very super. Sing with Sujira Machi, country goods, it is very good. Near come to dash and stand, it is very super. Water party, Tanja Ure Gatame, magic is old, Malayalam film. What size is this, uncle? What age is this? Yo, this one here goes out to all my players out there, man. You know, they got that one good girl, dog, that's always been there, man. Like, took all the bullshit. But then one day she can't take it no more and decided to leave. Yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night and I noticed my girl wasn't by my side. Could have sworn I was dreaming, for her I was feigning, so I had to take a little ride. Now Hamsika here is totally movie material. She has uh, 
all the ingredients that you need to become a movie star, including her lovely locks, and that's why she's the organizer of the hair styling contest. Is that is that true? Uh, yeah, like somewhat too, because like when I was new to this school, like uh, these people, like I used to have short hair, so like gradually it uh, grew up and like I got a uh, step cut and stuff like that, so like these people thought that I'm a hairstyle freak and stuff like that, so just put me into this hairstyling department contest. So what are you looking for in this contest, funky hairdos or what, what exactly is the criteria? Like funky as well as it should look stylish. I mean, you, you should be able to take yourself with that hairstyle out wherever you're going. It's not, instead of being in the fashion designing world or something like that, you should be able to take out wherever you go. So versatility basically, yes? You'll find some very extraordinary pieces of uh, modern art here. We are in this room where the junk art contest is happening. We have students from Gil Adarsh and from Church Park. So are you given these materials or uh, do you bring them? No, we bring it on our own. Which means you already know what you're going to do. You come prepared, yes? Yeah. Yeah, but then it's difficult to do something on the spot with junk because you have to bring a lot of stuff. No, but I don't believe that. You already know what you're going to do. You've brought materials for that, right? So how can it be difficult? Why don't you tell me? Actually, they told, told that they'll be giving topic on the spot. But now they told that you can do anything on your own. So is it challenging then? Because you've already uh, come prepared. No, I don't see where the challenge lies in this. It just lies that how we uh, make it and our presentation and our work in it and just that all the materials we use are absolutely junk. So are you having fun here? Are the Chetinad Vidyashram students being good hosts? Yeah, absolutely. We are having a blast over here. We've been coming here from the morning. The light, mu light music is amazing and the DJ is so good. We are, the music is really nice, enjoying the music and we are having fun among ourselves also. And Side by side, the other events are also going on. I know that when we do things like this, we have to do things like this. 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 But I think that you have to play football, you have to play shoes, you have to play shoes. You have to play all of them and you have to play all of them. So you have to play some extra time for them. You have to play all of them. You have to play all of them. So you have to play all of them. So you have to play all of them. And Neeraj, what are you doing in the junk art contest? I am a junk art teacher. Nah makar itu na se till ninth baru ikut orang abdi dah arna. Ena na A B C D kat tengah tengah itu fifth standard lada. Soalnya tengah bawa kamera juga, but ada unme. What message do you have for young people? Kalau nama pelik pun boleh, alat itu pona generation la. Ini tap, ini saya kurang dengan tono. But ippo inda kalat la koran inggal kondo. Yedu me tap pun lengan ramai orang pelinggal. Kadai na inggal betul pakar. Ya, ini senja. Ini perih orang sendiri. Ini benda kita nampak senja. Ini orang orang mentaliti. Orang itu sari ilan yang nak turun. Ada. Adik, mana mari matam mana yang nak terlalu. Anak definitely orang orang ini lekuk. Orang itu. Yang saya katakan. Adik kepada orang orang walat cerita. Orang itu. 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 Orang it
for a change. It's going to be a different stuff out here. I am the guest and I'm going to be interviewing the interviewer out here. She is going to ask me questions. No, I am going to be asking her questions. Okay, it's all yours. <laughs> That's not true. Well, this is Ashok and he is the DJ for the event and he's been doing a really fabulous job. The star of the liar, show. Liar, liar, liar. <laughs> How do you hold something like this together, Ashok? I don't know. It's just to go back in time. You know, sometimes when you really want to grow young, this is where you really have to be. It's time where you feel yourself with these kids. It's like it, it automatically gives you the power back in life to be young, to feel fresh, to feel happy, and get the best of them. That's how I. That's my trick. You know, to be young is to be with them. To feel young is to be with them. And once you're with them, you automatically get the power into to make them feel better and entertain them better. That's my trick of enlarging. By their very quiet demeanor and their goody goody smiles. They're quite an unruly bunch of boys trying to make a good impression on us. They're all very shy for some reason and they've elected Harsha as their spokesperson. Harsha, you've been in charge of many of the events here. Yeah, a few of them. Which one? Uh, Shipwreck, VJ Wannabe, and uh, Bioscope, among, and Jam, among others. And uh, they're basically speaking events, and because that's what I do, you know, speak for other people. Right? The mouthpiece. Yeah, the mouthpiece, yeah. Well, many of you are old students of this school, so how does it feel to come back, Dyson? It feels wonderful to get back over here, hmm. and that's all. <laughs> okay. How does it feel to be part of the culturals? It's a great time to show off your talents, yeah, and also to meet uh, children, I mean, students from other schools. Yeah, especially uh, state United students or our ex friends, and still friends because, you know. We already care about them, and then again, it's an opportunity for us to freak out with them. Well, Kaushik, you seem to be really missing your old school. Is that true? Uh, that's very true because this school is wonderful. More than education, it has given me friendship. That means a lot, as you can see, my friends. And really, I'm missing a lot. Look at this really perfect class photograph. They are all part of the organizing committee that put together this cultural extravaganza. Ma'am, what were the challenges that you encountered? Let's start with that first. Putting together something as big as this is not as easy as it looks. So what were the challenges that you faced? Just organizing and children did a very good job. They planned everything perfectly well and they just came to us only for suggestions. They did a wonderful job and it was very smooth going. We didn't face any major problem as such. It was a full coordination and the healthy friendship they had. And it was a success because of the teamwork. Here is the, the culture vulture, the kingpin, Mr. Nakul. He is the cultural secretary. Nakul, what kind of ideas go through your head before an event like this? I mean, uh, to be a cultural secretary of a school, and especially Chetinan, is a big thing because Maitri is one of the most awaited events. I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I'm boasting and all, but it is the biggest. And so a lot of preparation goes into it, and that's why we have two cultural secretaries, four assistants. So, I mean, all of us have put an equal effort. I mean, you're probably wrong in saying that I was the kingpin and all, but yeah, I probably did put everything together, but it was the effort of everybody, everyone else as well. That's the modest streak in him. Well, you need to be a kingpin if you're going to hold all, all the entire group together. <laughs> now, are the girls more helpful or the guys? I think uh, everybody helped us, actually. It's not only the girls or the guys. I would say like all the assistants have been most, we have two girls and two guys. Both of them have been helpful, no problem. With now girls are thought to be more creative than boys, right? That's not true in all cases. I mean, 
It's, I don't know, I, I feel that we had a great time working with all of them. Um, it was fun, it was kind of difficult too, because uh, all of us are doing it for the first time. And uh, I mean hosting it throughout, so we had a great time, we had fun. And yeah, that's about it. And it's going on really well now, so we're not facing a problem as such. What have you learned from cultures that you have seen in other schools? Ma'am, have you been part of it? Have you gone to other schools? And yeah, well, um, I have gone to other schools uh, taking our children. Uh, basically, I think uh, culturals is uh, something where you give the children an opportunity to work on their own. You know, it's something that you and I would not dream of. When we were children, probably we always had uh, somebody to fall back on, look to for guidance. Now here, children take up something so big and they do it so well, so amazingly well that we wonder if we would be able to do it uh, the way they have done it. We have only been at the back of the whole thing and the children have been doing it all by themselves. Thank you.